This is Karita Parks bringing you your week six Ravens rundown. As the Baltimore Ravens get ready to take the international stage in London, they have been there all week getting ready for the Tennessee Titans. And this game is a bit of a rivalry of its own, which stems back to the AFC playoffs a couple of years ago. Not necessarily a divisional rivalry, but these two teams, they have a little bit of bad blood between them. So it'll be very interesting to watch. You can guarantee that it will be an intense game. The Baltimore Ravens have been in London all week long. They're taking a different approach Then 2017, which is the last time they played there, and it didn't go too well. So they started early so that they can get prepared and get their bodies right and just adjust to the time change and such. There's no proof what method works. The Tennessee Titans, they left on Thursday, got to London on Friday. So maybe we'll find out based on which team wins, which strategy was the best. The Ravens also started out this week in the community with a community event. So they're really having a good time in London, but also focus on the task at hand, which is beating the Titans. The Ravens do not want to lose two in a row. They had a rough showing against the Steelers where they really beat themselves. Five drops, three turnovers. So I would like to see Lamar Jackson air it out again to his wide receivers and let them redeem themselves. I think that he definitely still has trust in them. And to just get that out the way early, I believe will be key. Also stopping Derrick Henry, that is going to be the task of Patrick Queen and Roquan Smith. So the Ravens have plenty to deal with with the Titans. We'll see who comes out on top. But like I said, the Ravens are not looking to drop two in a row. This is Karita Parts with Bowie Television. Make sure that you follow us on social media for all your Ravens content. Come on. Come on. Who's up first? We're riding on the run. Go ahead, run the fade. Go ahead. Come on, 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 come on,
This is really cool. We don't have this. Our guys just stand around in a circle. This is way better. So uh, just it's an honor to be here. We just had a really good practice. We really, really appreciate Tottenham putting us up here and allowing us to take part in these amazing facilities. I mean, this facility is, is eye-opening. Our guys are very excited about it. Saw some of the academy players down there watching practice. They stayed the whole time. Of course, they were pretty intrigued by Tucker and the guys kicking. So that was fun, and they went over and said hi and spent some time together. So uh, seeing the kids out here for the for the camp, that's really neat to see too. And I know our players are going to enjoy working with those kids. So uh, it's a joy to be here. We had a very good practice. The guys were in high spirits, and uh, we're just preparing for the game, and we're looking forward to playing on Sunday. So what questions do you have? So welcome back to London, Coach. Uh, frustrating loss last week, but having watched the All-22, there is a lot to be positive about. Uh, Lamar had the highest pro football grade of all QBs in week five. And although the result doesn't reflect that, uh, having watched the film yourself, and what, in your opinion, do you think you can implement into the, uh, the game on Sunday? No, no question. The thing, about, the thing about football in terms of winning football, you can, you can do a lot of things well, and we are. And you can be really close and it not look good, you know. And obviously, we've got to score more than 10 points. I mean, that's something that we were very capable of doing we should have done. Uh, should, have, should have separated early in the game, and we didn't do it because we didn't do the things we needed to do. We didn't protect the football. We didn't score in the red zone. So just too many mistakes, uh, pretty much holding ourselves back. So that's what we'll be looking to try to do on Sunday. Coach, uh, last time you were here was 2017. <coughs> after a fairly bad defeat to the Jags. Um, what would it mean to you to, to kind of right that wrong and, and get that first win in London? Right. It made me feel a lot better about the country, I can tell you that. You know, <laughs> Every time I see a picture of Great Britain on the map, I have that memory of that game. You know, So that was a tough one for us. It was a few years ago. Obviously, it's a new team, but, uh, but you know, every game is important. Uh, these games are exciting. We enjoy coming out here and playing, but, you know, for us, it's the next game, and every game, every game matters. You know, we play, we play 17 games, and at the end, these games are going to be big in the standing. So uh, it's a tough team we're playing. The Titans are very physical. Uh, we, we have a rivalry against them. We, we play them a lot. You know, we know them. They know us. So uh, it would be very meaningful to get a win, and that's what we're going to try to do. Trent Crimley, defendant. <laughs> <laughs> you took a different approach this time, coming full week. Do you feel like you're having a more normal week preparation? Yeah, I, I don't know whether it's normal or not, Jerry, but it's uh, it's it's uh, we're getting settled in. You know, I, I think we're all sleeping just a little better than we did a day or two ago, and uh, we're getting a feel for the time. I think we're going to be better for it, so we'll see. I mean, there's no science on it. Teams have come over here early and done well and not done well. They've come on Thursday and done well and not done well. So. Hopefully, this is uh, something that works for us. Coach, Kyle Hamilton had a historic day a couple of weeks ago against the Colts. Uh, he was everywhere across the field. Three sacks in the first half, uh, the most by a player in a half in the team history. How important is he in this Mike McDonald defense, in particular, given that this is a rivalry game against the Titans? Yeah, no doubt. I mean, Kyle's, Kyle's becoming emerging as an impact player, there's no doubt. He's just a second-year player. Uh, he's, he's just beginning his second year. And uh, he was a high draft pick. We had high expectations for him. He had to learn some tough lessons. I think he'd be the first to tell you last year early in the season, but he, he learned them. He's very smart. Uh, he's got a growth mindset big time. And that's one of the reasons besides his talent, I think, that he's, 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 he's making such progress. But he's a factor out there. I mean, Tennessee and everybody else has got to know where number 14 is. Ted, sorry, John. Uh, in terms of this season, obviously, three and two, you've had three divisional games already. In 2019, you also had three divisional games within your first six, so, and it was a four and two record, funnily enough. So if you beat the Titans on Sunday, it'd be four and two again. Do you think, sort of, you know, having those three games early on, they're all tough, divisional opponents, the Titans as well, a rival. Could you sort of replicate and have, you know, a good season like 2019 when you finish 14 and two? Right, well, that'd be great. That's kind of what we'd like to do. You know, one game at a time, obviously, that was our mindset then, but. Uh, uh, it would have been great to be 3-0 and in the division on the road, but we didn't get it done. You know, we didn't do what we needed to do to win the game, even though we were capable of doing it. So uh, the next one up is this one, and if we could come out of here 4-2, you know, that'd be great. John, you had um, you know, a lot of guys talking about how like, you guys gave the game away last, last week. I'm curious when, when you have that situation, what's the message to the team going into the next game and trying to sort of overcome that? Yeah, well, we had a 45-minute team meeting today, so uh, that was the message, you know. So probably you guys don't have that much time, do you? But uh, the message was that, essentially, you know, and what we're capable of doing and becoming and what we need to do to, to get there. You know, you, it's, it's, it's a fine line, you know, between good and great and, and breaking bad. And that's the difference in terms of uh, any kind of competition. So, you know, the idea is we're, we're, we're a good football team. You know, we're capable of being great. And, you know, let's go to work and do the things we need to do, every little detail 
to take that next step and become a great football team. And you do that week by week. It's a week to week league. You know, you don't all of a sudden you're there and all of a sudden you stay there. You got to do it time and time again, and that's what we're trying to do. Welcome to London. Oh, I appreciate it. <laughs> You've played with so many fans here who have been wanting to see for a while now. Um, what does it mean to finally be playing here in London? Man, it means a lot uh, just for, you know, the NFL football to be going across, you know, going global. It's, it's amazing. And for me to have fans in London, I never dreamed about that. <laughs> that's, that's amazing to me. Lamar, with this being your first game in London, what can British fans who may be watching for the first time expect from you this Sunday? Oh, man. You guys going to have to watch the game to find out. <laughs> watch it, you know, uh, be present. Um, it, I, I believe it'll be amazing. It'll be amazing. Mark, would you, um, you know, you and the other guys obviously had yesterday off. What did you, what did you do around London? Uh, I walked the strip. I don't know exactly where I was, but uh, I walked the strip. Uh, bought my mom something. Uh, that's it. Just hung out with my guys. The last uh, week, you had the highest PFF grade of any quarterback in the league. Todd spoke about wanting more explosive plays. We saw that on that great third and 18 where you scrambled and made the downfield play to Zay. Um, do you feel that the offense is now on the brink of sort of clicking and being explosive week in, week out and, you know, confident of putting on a show in London on Sunday? Uh, I, I believe we, we, headed on the right, we headed to the right track. You know, um, each and every week we've been having explosive plays, but we haven't been consistent, and that's the biggest emphasis for us right now. And I believe, you know, Sunday in London it'll be, it'll be a lot of explosive plays, and hopefully we'll be consistent. All right, so you guys are running a new offensive scheme under Todd uh, Monken as well, and you have the addition of wide receiver Zay Flowers, who's obviously proven to be uh, a great addition to the team. How are you adapting to the scheme, and how well do you think it brings out the best of your ability? Uh, I believe I'm adapting well. Um, you know, I'm making checks. Um, you know, hearing my guys in the numbers, letting those guys catch and run. Um, what I've been trying to practice on, you know, throughout this process with um, having a new system. Uh, but just got to be more consistent, all of us. Uh, I believe it's like bread and butter. <laughs> Mark, John, John mentioned the team meeting that you guys had. About, you said it's about 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. what, what did you take out of that that meeting? Uh, coaches feeling how we're feeling. You know, um, we should be five and zero. I believe. You know, um, we just got to put the points on the board, protect the ball. That was one of the main things he was saying to us. Um, every week we don't had a turnover, um, whether, whether it's me or someone else, and. The ball is our prized possession, and with us having possession of the ball, we need to put points on the board, protect as much as we could. And our defense, they're doing a great job, so we need to help them out, if anything. Oh, are, you, uh, are you a fan of these London trips? Some players like it, some players don't. Where do you fall on these London trips? Um, I've been over here a few times, so uh, I definitely think London's a beautiful place. You know, um, Don't really see much sun, but I'm used to that over here. And... Um, I think the the trip is great. It's a great atmosphere. It is definitely difficult to get adjusted to times and all of that and find your, your rhythm. But um, I think life's set up that way to where you have to learn how to adjust. Um, and this is just one of those situations, you know, and um, coming up, coming off of a tough loss, a team just has to find a way to be resilient and keep driving, knowing it's a long journey, long season. Um, and this is just the situation where we have now. But definitely playing in a game in 2016, it was, uh, it was funny to be there, you know, it was the Giants versus the Rams, and I'm seeing Dolphins jerseys, Jets. Like, everybody's wearing their team, but the energy is still amazing. And I know that the, um, the fans over here are very excited about it. So it is a definite blessing and a unique opportunity. Uh, and, you know, just looking forward to it. Odell, you know, you're a, kind of an international uh, star. Is it something that you, <laughs> that you um, kind of relish when you play these international games? I mean, this is a chance to grow the game that, you have a chance to, to be one of those people that helps grow this game internationally. Absolutely. Um, I remember when it was just kind of starting, I think 2016, and you know before that there was like a long break between the games over in London. And um, I remember going to Germany and the, I had like an event or something and the, the streets went absolutely crazy. And just to feel that um, in my heart was a crazy feeling. You know, I remember these kids followed me on bikes for miles pedaling I'm sweating I tell the driver just pull over because like they've already did a Lance Armstrong race all the way to come <laughs> to come meet so I was like just pull over and you know you met them and just for this game to be able to grow and see it you know be loved um, by people outside of America um, 
it's a true testament to, you know, the game of football, which is such a beautiful thing. So, um, you know, anything that I could do to help, you know, these kids over here and you see them and, you know, they, they want to feel what the football is like and throw with them. Um, it's a beautiful thing to see a game that could touch so many people. Your, your impressions of just the, the facility here at, at Tottenham? Yeah, no, it's an amazing facility. Uh, just being here and seeing it, uh, they definitely take good care of their players in the fields, man. They're pretty sweet. Like, even the ones we didn't get the chance to practice on, like, they're pretty sweet. So, um, I'm a fan. Brock, when we just saw David Java come in, and unfortunately he can't play this weekend, but when he does get fit, when he is healthy and ready to go again, how good can he be in this league? Yeah, no, I think uh, Jabo uh, has a lot of potential. You know, it's just more so about, you know, being healthy and whatnot. So I'm very excited for him to get back out there when he uh, when he's healthy because I think he can do a lot of good things. And we've seen that before when he's actually uh, on the field. He definitely can produce. So as long as he get healthy, man, definitely love to see him back out there. Roquan, um, John Harbaugh was pretty specific about why they chose to travel when they did. How do you feel physically now that you've had a – what is it, three nights sleep almost in London already? How, how do you feel your body reacting? Oh, very well. Like, I've been going to sleep like I feel like, you know, a UK, uh, but uh, I've been going, <laughs> I don't know how good that actually was, but I've been going to sleep like around like 11 or so. So it's kind of been like, and waking up around like seven, eight, like eight more so uh, in the morning. So it's, it's been pretty good for me, and I feel like I'm uh, adjusted on the time zone. I think tonight will be, uh, the be probably the best night of sleep, whereas I feel like I've gotten even more acclimated. So I'm excited about that. Did you play in London at all early in your career? Yeah, I did back in 2019, Chicago versus uh, Vegas. They, or there was the uh, Oakland in at that time. Who has the best British accent on the team, and who has the worst? Uh, I probably have the worst. And then, uh, no, I'm sure some other people have the words because I can get by with a couple. I can say a few words here and there, but I heard Tuck talk today. And Tuck, actually, a couple of uh, the nice people over at the hotel uh, was like, oh, my God. It, it was like his was pretty good, you know what I mean? So, like, <laughs> yeah, but mine is not the best. What are your good ones that you can get by with? Um, let's have a proper English breakfast. <laughs> no, that's probably not good. That's probably not good. A water. Like, yeah. <laughs> As someone who has already been to London, what were uh, probably the craziest questions you were asked by your teammates? Uh, well, some teammates, it's kind of funny, has never really been outside of uh, America. Like, uh, it's kind of funny. I'm just like, bro, there's so many dudes that make, you know, crazy memes for themselves or create a great life for themselves and never really get out to see other parts of the world. So I never quite understood that. So guys would be like, you know, sometimes be like, okay, uh, what do they speak? You know, the language that they speak and things like that. So the language was probably the best one when you think English, England, you know. So when you think it from that perspective. But, yeah, you hear some crazy things in the locker room. I'll tell you that. Rokon, what sticks out to you about this Titans offense? One more time, sorry. What sticks out to you about this Titans offense? Uh, physical team, you know, uh, physical team. And that's something we pride ourselves on as well, um, knowing they have a, a really good back. Henry has been doing it a, a really long time. And, uh Good quarterback in um, Tannehill, as well as, uh, you know, D-Hop been, you know, one of the best in the game for a while. So they definitely got some pieces uh, over there, and it's just going to be about, you know, doing our job, stopping the run first and foremost, and what they definitely lean on all game long, and then, you know, eliminating um, D-Hop as well, uh, trying because they're definitely going to try to get him the ball. So it'll be a great match for us, a great, uh, great challenge. So looking forward to it. Hey, guys. Uh, you know, I'm blessed to be back home, uh, blessing to be here, very close to my heart. Uh, and I just want to say, man, it's unfortunate I can't be out there with my brothers, but working day by day, you know, working real hard to be out there. And uh, through God's grace, I'll be out there soon. How is the health, David? How, what's the kind of timetable looking like for you? It's working day by day, man. Uh, you know, no timetable right now. And uh, just working hard to get back out there. David, are you confident that you will be back at some point this season, that this is not a season anymore? Yeah, God willing, yeah. And, um, obviously, the second year in a row, you've had to deal with a significant injury. How, how difficult has that been and uh, through this process for you? Hey man, everything's in God's hands. You know, you control what you can and, uh, you know, keep my mentals up by praying and staying close to my family. Hey, what's this week like for you? Um, you know, I, I know it's not quite the homecoming that you envisioned, mm. but you still get to come back here and, um, 
you know, be surrounded by family. But what has this experience been like for you? Yeah, it's a blessing. You know, I got to catch up with my family. Uh, first time seeing them this year. You know, I only go home about once a year. So, you know, I'm blessed to be able to come back and see them. And uh, also just experience this whole thing with my team, too, my brothers. So, you know, it's an experience of a lifetime, and I'm sure they're having fun. I remember watching um, international games as a kid. You know how, how great is it that the NFL is kind of working to expand the, the sport here in Europe? And um, what are your memories of watching any international games or international games as a kid? Yeah, I, I, I see a couple couple highlights in that. So to be a part of something like this, man, it's definitely special. And, uh, you know, I'm confident that it's gonna you know keep growing and keep expanding uh, to the world. There's uh, more and more kids coming out of uh, Nigeria going into like D1 schools. What's the potential for Nigerian kids? Yeah, there, there's been a lot, you know, just outreach. You know, uh, uh, my guy Osi, uh, he has an NFL Africa going. So, you know, that's a good little, you know, spot that people like uh, my peoples could go, you know, and uh, get a better opportunity and, uh, you know, hopefully reach, you know, the level, you know, I'm at right now. Can you elaborate a little bit on just how much family you do have and, and kind of what you've been able to do while you've been in town with them? Uh, yeah, just uh, my immediate family, you know, mom, brother, you know, dad, sister. And just, man, we, we were big on family time, so just spending time catching up. We know our time's very limited, so, you know, just honestly, we've been at home. We went to one dinner, but just been at home, just, you know, kind of catching up and embracing each other. I mean, you know, you talk about dealing with injury. How much do you lean on them, you know, being that it's, it's a challenging thing for you to go through right now? Mm -hmm. you know, is it a lot kind of leaning on them while you have a chance? Yeah, yeah it's critical, man. Family is the most important thing in this life. So, uh, you know, just to be able to tune out, like, the outside noise and uh, just know what's really important, what it comes down to. Were there any other sports that you were into? Like, obviously, we're in the Tottenham Hotspur yeah. training ground. Were you a first sport growing up, or was it only... Uh, NFL. I won't lie, I was a soccer player and uh, definitely Ma Manchester United was mine. I know, hey, yeah, 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 look, look, I knew it. <laughs> no, I know they're not doing good, too good now, but yeah, I was a Man U fan, uh, but yeah, that kind of fizzled away as I started uh, playing football. Nah, nah, all nah. NFL, yeah, yeah, more NFL, yeah, just focus on Can that. Can I get a quick favorite player from United that from, from when you were younger? Uh, I was I see Ronaldo that Ronaldo Rooney era when they were together. Nah, I, I went. My dad took us to a live game, uh, so I'll, I'll never forget that one. Yeah, good to see everybody. Appreciate everybody being here. Uh, good practice. Been a really good week. I really appreciate Tottenham, the Hotspurs, and uh, all the people here, from security right on through to Coach Ange and everybody else. It's just been outstanding. So we we are grateful, and uh, we're we're ready to play. We're pointing towards Sunday. All eyes on the game, and uh, we're looking forward to it. So what questions do you have? How do you, uh, now that you've been here, it seems like pretty much a full, like, you know, five days now, uh, time adjusted, how do, you, how do you think you and, and the rest of the players kind of feel? Well, I gauge, it, I gauge it by me. You know, if I feel good, they feel good, right? That's how I feel. It's, uh, I think we're all kind of on the same deal. So I feel great, got uh, good rest, and uh, guys are in good spirits. Uh, I really picked up yesterday and, and carried over to today, so we're in a good place. Hey coach, yesterday you had the interaction with the coach uh, and Pozakoglu. How was that interaction, sharing ideas with a uh, coach in soccer? Yeah, it was, uh, it's awesome, but I feel like it's interesting. You know, you talk about the world of sport. You know, it's a, it's a big world out there, yet the world of sport is kind of a small community. And we're, uh, we're talking about coaching and, you know, players and how the staffs are organized maybe and, you know, how you relate to your guys and the different uh, – the different nuances of it, yet it's still the same thing. It's still it's still coaching and mentoring, maybe, and game planning and, and all the kind of challenges and family. We talked about family quite a bit. He's got young kids and talking about his family moving around. You know, the last 15 years, they've done a lot of moving around. So that was really interesting to hear about. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be a, a fan of those guys now. Johnson, you, know, you guys obviously moved indoors today. Was that just because of all the rain yesterday? What was the – yeah, it was both. I mean, we were supposed to kind of rain today anyway, and uh, it did. Then, it, then it, you know, then it got nice, of course. So, uh, nice job, Chad. Very smooth. <laughs> That's our Chad Steele, everybody. So, uh, he actually does a great job. Um, but then we, we decided to do, do it as a walkthrough type practice format, so that's what we did. Coach, you mentioned the player spirits. How are your spirits? Because the last uh, couple of uh, press conferences, it seems like the 2017 game still haunts you a bit. 
Well, I mean, it gets, gets keep brought, uh, keeps getting brought up by all, you know, my people here. You know, it's like they asked me over there, and I've been asked about it in the off season. Got asked about, you know, during training camp, and got asked about three weeks ago before we were even thinking about coming here. Then I got asked about last week, and now I'm asked about it over here in England. So, yeah, I guess it's a big deal, you know, but it's behind us. Uh, it's uh, last week is behind us. I mean, that's really how it works. You know, it's that was six years ago. No, you don't forget. You know, you don't forget. You never forget anything, you know, because it, uh, it all matters. It's so important to us. And yet we work so hard, you know. And yet uh, you got to move on to the next challenge. And the next challenge is the one that's right in front of us. It's the Tennessee Titans in, a, in an amazing stadium over there. It's going to be an amazing crowd. We know we got to deal with crowd noise. And we got to deal with our opponents. So we're trying to focus on that.